Hi guys, it is Project Gamer Mike. We are back. The donkey is back. And here I am going to tell you guys what not to do. Um, <clears throat> the donkey comes around every month, pretty much, for those that are new here. And it usually brings some of, or certainly we've seen some of the best items in the game. It's pretty, well, yeah, 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 I would say they're probably the best items in the game. Uh, and they usually come from the donkey. Um, best items in the game usually refers to something that when you put it in your team it doesn't really take much effort and you can kind of still farm the the, the teams that are not built so good so let's have a look so uh, yeah 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 yeah. I know I've got 400,000 apples but apparently I'm low um, so the donkey looks like this right it's here for about you know for four days yep four days and we get this big unique chest and we get all these old previous items that have been around in some kind of an event and we usually also get some kind of new artifact uh, to, to obtain typically typically it can take anything between 10 to 15 chests to get one item so you do the math if you're looking so i need you know four of these if you do click on it you, you may also see some hidden ones like this one here it, you know it's not showing that, I, that there's also a spear in here uh, on this on this part um, and I, I obviously didn't pay for this event because it looks like these weapons are the ones that are hidden behind some kind of paywall months and months and months ago, probably around about a year ago. Um, but certainly, you know, the ones I've already got from this are definitely the better items from this event. So I didn't didn't go for that. But what that does mean is if I do really like this new Magic Beans artifact, it means that this may be last and it may cost me up to 30,000 diamonds to get this one item. Um, so typically it's very, very, very much recommended to... Do not attempt this unless you do have all of these items and you just need the one and you've got diamonds in abundance to, to spare. Um, let's have a read a bit. So we've got removes all debuffs from a unit with the lowest current health, restores 200,000 of their health and casts a shield on that that guy, I guess, uh, and reduces incoming damage by 65% for five seconds. It'd be interesting to know what this does. I haven't got I probably do have some kind of picture somewhere because I know that I've seen this on, on Hustle Prime's Discord link is in the description down below of what this changes into uh, with the Runa transformation but regardless I am not going to be spending my diamonds because I may be getting the, these things here um, and in my team I usually have two very very low health players uh, very very low like less than less than 100,000 health because I typically run a 55 unit and also a 70 I think so this is going to be no good to me this is going to be targeting that one guy that which to be honest it, they, they kind of do their job very early on then they're like kind of like throwaways anyway so I'm not that interested in in you know this artifact targeting that one soft unit anyway so you know we're talking about synergy and, and will this improve our our uh, our team or will it make it worse so if i put this in my team no doubt it is going to make it worse because i'm going to be taking away a very good artifact that's already you know very well synergized in my team um to be replacing it with this to do next to nothing so i'll be leaving that but you know if you do have loads and loads of diamonds lying around and you are at the end game and you know you're very very much into it and you know you've you've, you've got all the other items in the game then it's up to you go for it let's have a look at these these so these are the kind of like the new little chests that have come out and typically these ones have got some very very strong items very strong um, we've seen some very very good items over the last definitely over the last six months i guess since they introduced these small little items so uh, the exceptional chest i've kind of like you know went at it uh i already had i think these five items here five no 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 this is a new one so i had these four I had these four items here, so I got yeah these four new items. Not that worried about this totem because uh, I, I may go for it because it's the last one. Um, but I'm kind of you know I don't really feel like you know once in a while the units uh, attack attack deal pure damage equal to fifteen percent of the target's max health. I kind of you know I don't feel like that's going to be doing much work, to be honest. I don't. So I, I, I'm probably going to get that anyway. I mean, let's just go for it now. Why not? Um, so, you know, here we are. We're here, we're here to spend the diamonds that we've got. So let's just do it anyway. So we'll go ahead and, yeah, like a, typically here, I mean, it really is a bit of a lottery. Um, you know, you could be spending anything between 15 to 25 chests, to be honest, for, for one of these items. 
um i'm pretty sure so i mean i was just go back a second i was kind of only interested in this amulet so once in a while the unit taunts enemies and makes them attack themselves for three seconds the unit then gains a shield that absorbs 80 percent damage so i'll get back to this because it's very very misleading and it's not working as it reads and i'll tell you how it does work um so be warned okay so i've already here we go we've got the totem and it's come with four health oh, okay so you know we're, we're going to be restricted now on our on our engravings um so we can only use this if we've got some some health because i'm certainly not well i can't do anything with this right nothing i need at least two of something else in order for me to use something else other than other than health so um yeah so there it is we got it and you, for those that are counting you could you know you can tell it's cost me a lot it's cost me a lot to get that so for these five items um it's probably cost me ooh, I, I, I i dread to say to be honest i i think around about over thirty thousand diamonds i think Sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you don't. And on this chest, I got pretty unlucky, I guess. Um, the ring, let's have a look at the ring once in a while. Uh, when a movement restricting debuff, uh, stun, freeze, petrify, fear, or slow is applied to the unit, they restore 250,000 health for three seconds, and have an 80% chance to remove a random debuff. If successful, the following three attacks are guaranteed to deal critical damage. I'm quite interested in this. Because early on there's, there's there's typically quite a lot of these things going on stun freeze and petrify and fear and slow as well so uh, i'm I'm quite interested in seeing how this this works and particularly if it is guaranteed because we do have items nowadays where you cannot receive a critical hit um the crusader cannot receive critical hit so i'm interested to see whether who's who's stronger in this case right so i will i will be testing that out but for me it's it's a good ring we looked at the totem let's get into the amulet so themselves i read this out earlier themselves so this means the amulet wearer so the enemies are not going to be firing at each other for three seconds and if you do put this in an ancient um uh, amulet it will go up to four seconds and uh, absorb 85 percent damage i think and also for four seconds so it's very very misleading so obviously i kind of thought oh, that would be great it sounds like you know like a um uh what's that fancy wand I can't even remember what it's called now angel wand i thought it was something like that it's going to be you know all the enemies are going to be just targeting themselves for you know for, for, for three seconds but it's not it's really not so it's very very misleading i've already submitted my ticket this is the pretty much the only item i did want anyway from this chest and it cost me well over twenty five thousand to get this so i'm i'm not particularly happy but here we are um so be careful with that be careful with that this will change this this here this word will definitely change at some point probably once everybody's wasted all their diamonds um for the duration of the battle this is the tank armor um the unit's physical and magical armor increases based on the armor wearer's current health crusader 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 uh the less health they have the greater the increase the max increase of the physical armor is 100 percent, and the magical armor is also 100 percent as well once in a while the increase in physical and magical armor um from the armor ability increases by five that's also wrong so that needs changing as well um for five seconds so we don't know what that is so yeah here we are again two items that are not how they should be and the bow what does the bow do once in a while the unit fires a huge bolt at a random enemy the bolt stuns the target pointless paladin will remove that many many other abilities nowadays can remove stuns as well uh and the target and all enemies in a small radius around it have their damage reduced by 50%, removing debuffs and stuff like that. And they take 40% more damage for three seconds. Uh, I'm not, not that interested. I mean, I will test it out, but I'm not that interested. I don't think that, you know, certainly the, 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 the last part of this ability is going to be doing much. But, you know, if you don't have some of the other good bows, of course, use it. Work with it. See how you can make it work. And uh, then we've got the co coveted coveted chest i haven't gone for any of these yet um typically what i will say now if you do need all of these items as well the skins will come first so you probably need to spend a good four thousand to five thousand diamonds just to get through the skins to start getting some of the other other items um this was an old i can't even remember what all these, all these are now but i've got it i don't use it um 
another one i've got it i don't use it so many items in the game nowadays we have we just don't use and we just keep on giving 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 um, let's have a look then so we've got the the sword once in a while sets the target of the attack and three enemies closest to it on fire the burning units take 180,000 magic damage and have their healing rate reduced by 35 percent for three seconds if a unit set on fire by the sword ability dies within three seconds they cannot be resurrected for three seconds when the burning wears off enemies are set enemies are set on fire and take a hundred thousand pure damage so i know there's abilities out there that remove people that are on fire so it kind of i i wonder how this may work to be honest but again if you don't have a sword this could be good but there's definitely you know i don't think this is going to be worth you know fighting for to be fair um archer gear once in a while, the unit's damage is increased by 50% for 4 seconds. During this time, when an attack deals damage, uh, the unit gains a shield that absorbs 100... Well, sorry. The, the, the It gains a shield that absorbs damage equal to 100% of the damage dealt by the attack. Stacks up to 5 times. Uh, the, sh the shield absorbs damage of any type and lasts for 5 seconds. Ooh, of any type. Okay, well that may be good. That may be good on something like a legionnaire, but a legionnaire is pretty well dated nowadays. I know there are some other sets out there and stuff like that, but I quite like the idea of absorbing any damage. I'd be interested to see this even in a mage, to be honest. I'll see if I, so I see how I will see how I can work this in to test it. The totem. Uh, when the unit's health is below 45%, all incoming damage they receive is reduced by 35% and incoming healing is increased by 35%. No, I'm not interested in even talking about that. Um, to totems in general are not that good. Only the ones that burst damage, you know, in the lower thrones, TR6, 5 and whatever else. Sort of, can you even get this in TR5? I don't know. Uh, but certainly the lower end, they are very good because a lot of totems do cast on first attack or within the first four seconds of the fight. So, but this no not interested definitely definitely way 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 better totems out there than this one but no doubt this will probably be dropping first we'll have a look in a second um so we've got the payback amulet once in a while the units sorry the unit increases their max health by 10 percent for five seconds for each dead unit on the battlefield i like this um the unit also increases their own damage by eight percent for five seconds for each living unit on the battlefield okay i want to get this i want to test this i like the idea the idea of this especially if you're spamming minions and stuff like that certainly the higher end of brackets this will be much more useful for if you've got you're fighting eight people if you can get five people down we've got a 50 percent increase in health straight away um particularly for those guys that run you know a blade king and also uh, an archer and then we're running six throwaway people that just die and you're trying to want to just power through with your horned helmets and your blade kings this may be pretty useful for those kind of guys um uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll hope hopefully i'll get this in just a second um and then we've got the the, the scarlet seal ring as well so we've got when attacking the unit has a 50 percent chance to either freeze the target or turn them into stone uh, while frozen, the target is unable to move or attack for two seconds. Also, the cooldown of the target's gear abilities and artifact are increased by two seconds. While petrified, the target can't move or take or attack for two seconds and take 35% more damage. I like the sound of this as well. That's a good ring, I think. So let's see. Let's see how many chests it takes. Three, four, five... Six. Ooh, oh, surprise, surprise. We've got the totem first, uh, which I did say was probably one of the worst items and definitely one of the worst totems. But five chests is not bad. Five chests is not bad. I did get stung pretty badly with the other we have the chest, so I'm not counting anymore. That's boring. We're just going to keep on opening up some of these until we until we get some more more things. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to spam this. Ooh, we've got the amulet. Was that the amulet? Yes. So this is what I wanted. So we managed to get that on the second one. Now, if well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I would like this to test this, and I would like the ring as well. I mean, I'm going to get it. It's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get them. But um, 
hopefully somebody out there is counting these chests as they're as they're opening and you can let us all know in the comments how many chests it did take per item i'm not going to watch it back we've got the sword oh, i didn't want to get the sword to be honest that was probably one that i would probably you know if, I, if this was last i probably would have just left this i'm not that interested in that sword particularly that i do not run warriors in my my core team for arena um and I think I started this off with 71,000 diamonds, right? So we can kind of work out how much this chest is going to cost. Diamond-wise, not chest-wise. I'm not going to do any division. Um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's heavy. It's a heavy. It's a heavy chest. But it's nowhere near as heavy by the looks of it as the other one. So I'm, I'm kind of glad a little bit. So it's a shame that the ring is last. I did want to kind of get the ring early on. Did I get the ring then? I missed it. Sometimes I do open these two. Oh, there we go. Good. So we had so it's 14,000. That's not bad, right? My math is correct. No, we started at 71. Started opening these. 14,000 to get one, two, three, four, five items. That's good. That's good. Well, I mean, yeah, but to be honest, this one did sting me very, very badly. So let's have a quick look then while I've got you guys here. Let's have a quick look at what maybe the ring might look like in an ancient set and if i can even remember what it looks like this one yeah so we've got an extra second extra five percent it's not bad let's go back let's have a quick look at what the amulet's all about and then we'll see if there oh, i really can't remember what the amulet looks like i may have to go back to see what it looks like i'm sure you guys are screaming at the screens now it's this one right yeah this one so we got 15% for six seconds. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. This is gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna be testing for sure. And then we also got. I need. I need a lighter armor. This one. I need a lighter one, and I can't remember what this thing looks like either. Oh gosh, this is painful. Is it this one? No, I need to go back. Hold up. I can't remember what they look like. It's this one here. Ah, okay, so it's got the little three golden thingamabobbies. Thingamabobbies on the, on the arm there. Let's have a look. Let's get back into this. So where is it? Where are those three golden thingamabobbies? First one to find is the winner. Uh, am I going blind? Ah, here. This one. So what have we got? So we've got just a 55%, 100% hasn't changed. Stacks up to five times and also lasts for six seconds. Okay, so it's not a great deal of change. I may as well look at the sword as well while we're at it, but I can't, I really can't remember what the sword looks like as well. This one maybe? Yeah, this one. Ooh, 100, 450,000 magic damage and 250,000 pure damage. Interesting. If I did run some kind of sword wearer. But there are some others that do do some pretty heavy pure damage, right? If I remember correctly, I may not have them, but I do. I do know for sure. I've seen some with. We've got physical damage, physical damage. Anyway, I don't know, but I'm not really that persuaded too much. To, to, to be honest, I I may tinker with it to see how it works and stuff, but I'm probably not going to be using it. So that's the donkey, basically. And if we. Uh, if we kind of quickly go through it, so I'm, I'm, I'm really not interested in this. Honestly, if I go for these four here, all my diamonds are gone. I know that for a fact. Um, you know, buy these things here. If you need premium, this is probably the best place to come to get it. Uh, Goblin, not so much. Uh, and, and diamonds as well. This is a pretty good place to, to come. You know, we get 45% off, I think, or extra. Um, so it's a pretty good place to go. So I usually buy these things that cost the normal materials. I, and then the rest, I just I kind of don't. I get this chest because it's, you know, with, with mana. And then the rest I just leave. I do not buy... Well, I did. I think I got some more things with mana as well. The, the, the gems, the purple gems. But other than that, that's it. Yeah, I got these two here. Because, because I don't, you yeah. know, who uses iron anymore? Nobody. Um, and these things here I will leave as well. I'm not going to be using my... I used to, to be honest, when I didn't have, a, have anything to spend my gold on. When I was probably TR8 or something like that. I used to buy loads of these, but... You know, I'm all well, loads of these, four of these, but um, I don't buy them anymore. My my gold is used elsewhere, so that's pretty much it. And yeah, for me, for all the rest, it's just not worth spending diamonds on. 
if you want to spend your diamonds you spend your diamonds on these chests first in my opinion unless there is an absolutely incredible artifact which i don't think this is i think it's good but it's it's certainly not worth the risk of of, of getting these items here um a sword that i'm never probably going to use this scepter i'm never going to use and also this bow that i'm never going to use so i don't want to spend forty thousand odd 30,000 even diamonds on getting this artifact but um, do let me know in the comments if you did get this and if you think it's how good it is and if you wanted to encourage other people to think about getting it as well uh, that's up to you now quickly while I've got you here we're 20 minutes in this rune event I was quite wrong okay this artifact is very good very good artifact all right it triggers all the time I'm not going to do any videos um, or, or do any testing on it but take my word for it if you if you if you've got the time to quickly get in here and try to get yourself up to a hundred uh, collections do yourself a favor and do it it's a free artifact and it's 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 strong it's good all right it's a good good artifact to have um the challenge stuff i did buy this in the end i can't remember if i did it in the video or not of the last video or before the last video but i did buy this kind of just to test out my own um plg code and it does work it does work for those so for those of you that still want to be uh you know buying things in the game despite me saying don't um there is an official hustle castle store now website that you can go to the link was in the description down below and if you use my code as in plg okay plg i'll write it here look plg if you put this here plg in the item store as a, as a support or content creator you will give me some of that money that you spent basically that's a way of supporting the content creators and there's other content creators that you can also support as well check them out um the people already have so i thank you a lot for um for supporting me and for buying your things through the through the in-game store um there that you know you do get some kind of discount all the time they, they haven't got everything in there so you can't go there and start buying these things uh they do not have these as far as i'm aware uh, the last time I checked anyway, but they do have, a you know, usually at least 5% discount, I think, on pretty much everything else. So if you wanted to buy diamonds, it's always a 5% discount. If you wanted to buy a premium, goblin, event passes, it's always cheaper, always in that store. So that's where I'm going to be buying my event passes from now on. It's a shame they don't have, you know, other things that you can, that you can buy. I think you can buy this as well, actually. You can get this as well. And there's some, again, there's some, this artifact is very, very strong as well. It's another one that's very very strong i'm testing this this set out um and if i was to say now after the very limited tests i've done i would say this is not better than blade king that's what i'm going to say on it for now um you do what you want to do in terms of your own testing if you uh if you want to do that kind of thing but yeah i was wrong this artifact is good purely because of the fact it just constantly triggers anytime anybody has gone below 50 percent then that kind of thing triggers you know it's like then it, then it decides it's got a 50 percent chance to do what it wants to do uh but yeah every time someone goes below 50 percent it triggers um and anytime an enemy goes below 50 percent as well so it's triggering just non-stop it's very it's very good it's very good um artifact and i've also completed this thing i don't intend to do any more i got myself my 250 collections and shortly after that my confrontation room dropped so it went fun massacre confrontation if you only needed three if you need more than that just keep going but don't open up all your fun just yet because you can't grind these um but yeah if you, if you only need three it's the fun then massacre and then confrontation that's it so i think i'm gonna leave things there i'll leave you guys to decide what you want to do with your donkey you know your diamonds and your, and your chests um, but certainly for me this amulet's good uh, this ring is going to be tested i think it's also going to be worth using because you know there's, there's 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 things here that you could work on for sure uh, i don't want to give too much away and and also be very careful with this this is going to change i've already submitted my ticket saying what the hell is going on fix it now hurry up before other people get tricked into this um and that's it this i may i may move this over to a crusader to see how much more tankier i can get my crusader but i don't think i have a crusader mage in my team anymore i kind of took it out for for this guy i don't think i've done a video on this yet but this is a beast it's a beast let me just quickly see hopefully you don't see any of my losses um did i attack anybody worth showing no not really um ah, okay oh and i can't see it that's a shame 
Oh, that's a shame. Can't see any of them. All right, so you can't see. So you can't see how good it is. Anyway, but that's a good one. I probably will do a video on this at some point, but start working yourself, you know, towards getting a um, Servant of the Night. Fully redded. Definitely worth using. Anyway, so we'll leave things there. Uh, if you, like I said, if you did want to use some more, more of your money on buying things, go and use the shop. Uh, use my content creator code, PLG. I will be back uh next week for sure we do have a new kind of thing coming out which is the the goblin um auction i have been given some well all of the information up front all of it it's a new thing that they're doing at the moment um so i can kind of plan my content around it so i know exactly what's coming out and how it works and all that kind of stuff but i can't share any of that information with you uh which is really sad but uh, I'll, I'm going to work on it to see if I can give out some kind of leaks. Um, but yeah, I, I guess now they, I, I don't know, they, I feel like they, if they give the, th the information out to the content creators, we cannot do the leaks, which we can, we used to be able to get, like, from third party. Anyway, we'll leave things there, guys. As always, take care, guys.